Hey, this is Wurstsammel. You can call me Wurst. And I found a fairly simple way to make a dual edge detector, a silent dual edge detector. Fairly simple and fairly compact. Um, I see what a dual edge detector does. Basically makes a lever act like a button. And the advantage to this design that I've ne that I've n haven't seen any design that is capable of doing this um, is you can adjust the length of the output pulse very simply. You see, like this, I made it act I made it really act like a button. So because this light, this signal is on for exactly ten ticks. So, let me show you how it works. Basically, it's just two, um, uh, what's it called, pulse limiters with the new uh, comparators. So, um, if you've watched Testling's videos and you've played around with comparators, you might know that if you arrange it like this, put it into subtract mode you get a very compact, very small, very simple pulse limiter the length of the pulse it outputs is the exact length of the of the ticks that this repeater here adds to the signal here um, at the moment it isn't capable of outputting one tick pulses because I'm in a snapshot. I don't know if it's gonna be in the final 1.5 but technically it should output a one tick pulse as well if you put it in, in this configuration but at the moment it's only capable of outputting at least two tick pulses. So if you put two of those pulse limiters next to each other you see I had to replace this redstone with a little uh, repeater uh, so that you can put two directly next to each other and just invert the signal of one you have the simplest and most easy to remember um, dual edge detector ever the only downside is the only downsides are you need 1.5 or at least a snapshot. You need to hot power this uh, block here. It won't work with uh, a, a redstone line like this. Oh, it actually, uh, it doesn't really work. <laughs> it was intended. If it is like this, because only the this repeater picks up the signal and pushes it through. Uh, yeah, you need to hot power this. You need the snapshot, and because of those repeaters, you can only add uh, three t uh, ticks, a maximum of three ticks of pulse length per row of repeaters, because. You just need to add repeaters to make the signal longer. Those in the middle always have to be one tick. Those on the outside at least one tick longer than those in the middle. So let me demonstrate. If they're exactly the same, nothing happens. If they're, the outer ones are at one tick and the inner ones are at uh, if they are at two tick and the inner ones are at one tick, there should be a one tick pulse, but as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't work. So if there are three ticks here and one tick here, get a two tick pulse. Huh? So with three, six, nine, plus one, you get one second with 10 <laughs> with 3 3 3 and 1 tick you get 10 ticks that makes it 
a whole section like this. Yeah. A four by four by one silent pistonless dual edge detector with adjustable what's it called output pulse length. I hope this is useful for somebody, maybe for some crazy guys with those redstone computers. They may need a certain amount of tick length to for stuff to work. I don't know if anybody else can use it because I really stumbled upon it while playing with uh, with stuff and needing things and not not finding what I needed on YouTube. <laughs> so, well, I hope it was useful for somebody. Thanks and see you another time. We run things, things are